Good evening, everyone. I come from CERN, the place where we discovered the X boson, you know, the God particle that uh, fills the entire vacuum between matter particles and which uh, gives their mass to those who deserve it. <laughs> um, CERN is a place where we try and uh, understand where the universe comes from. And to do that, we need technology. This is why we developed uh, the web. But we also need uh, a network infrastructure. And this is why we contributed to the creation of the European Internet. This is why I'm, I am here uh, tonight. This is with uh, huge pride, but also with great humility, because it was a collective undertaking. Um, Kiss, Werner, Teus, um, myself, um, through us, this award also goes to all those in Europe who help creating uh, the internet. Just to name a few, Peter Losberg, Bernard Stockman, Frodo Geisen, Peter Villemos, Dennis Jennings, Olivier Martin, and so many others. But back to the web. Uh, many of you probably know that in 93, CERN put the web software in the public domain in 93. In 94, when Tim Berners-Lee Berners left CERN to the MIT, I took over him. My first job was to release the next version of the web, the version 3, the famous version 3. But we had learned, we listened we heard what you, Richard, were <laughs> telling us. Uh, and I released version 3 as free software. This was the first time. But look, there had been a year of vacuum, a property vacuum for the web software, where anyone could have taken it away and denied others to use it freely. But this did not happen. Why? Why this did not happen? Maybe because just the vacuum is not empty. It is full of fixed bosons. 